Welcome to Run Like You're On Fire. And we've got a review today of the Socony Freedom ISO 2. So these are really designed to be shoes that you put lots of miles in, last for a long time, and they do exactly what they say. Uh, I've put in about 125 miles in these, so I've given them lots of runs, including runs of about 20 miles. Uh, as well as shorter recovery runs uh, about 10k so the spec of these shoes so they've got a four mil drop um, but they are very cushioned uh, although according to the specs the cushioning in the heel is 22 mil and the forefoot is 18 uh, but i must say it feels like a lot more it's rather heavier though than the specs would have you believe. So according to the spec sheet, I don't know what size it's for, but on the Sockney website it says 258 grams. And now I've weighed them, uh, and it's more like 300 for a UK size 10. Uh, some of the features, well, they've got the ISO in the title, which is ISO Knit, which is their own uh, version of what uh, you might be familiar with, with Nike's Fly Knit. Um, it's a sort of a woven fit uh, designed to be comfortable and conform better to, to the, the foot. And I must say from running in it, it feels like it's doing its job, incredibly comfy. Uh, and you can run for miles and miles without any problems with blisters, hot spots uh, or, or anything like that really. So uh, it certainly does fit really well, it does what it's designed to do. Uh, the tongue is quite plush, as is round the heel. It does feel like there's a lot of material, hence the, the weight. Uh, perhaps not all of it's needed, um, but it is designed to be a, a comfortable shoe that you'll run lots of, of easy pace, lots of slow miles in. So there's plenty of things I like about this shoe. First of all, as said, it is comfortable. I've not had any problems running in it, uh, even from the first run. Uh, it fits well. Uh, it doesn't. I'm officially uh, a 9.5, um, but I went for the 10, and this does fit well because I do have slightly wide feet around it, about a D. Um, so I went up half a size, uh, and it fits perfectly. Another thing I really like about these shoes are the laces. Now the laces do actually have quite a bit of give in them. So which means you probably don't need to uh, worry about getting problems on the top of the foot. Um, which, which can be a problem. Uh, it, can, it can irritate the extensor tendons uh, and you can get sore points on your foot. Um, so that with the, the padded tongue pretty much does, does the job. Uh, durability, now these are rated, they've got the, the Everrun midsole, which doesn't seem to have had any issue. Uh, and the rubber on the bottom, well, it's pretty much untouched. With a rider, so I do have a bit of a tendency on my right foot to, to wear the outside edge. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but the outside edge is wearing a bit and that is basically the only thing that's the only wear that I can see on the sole. Uh, it's not really too much of, of a problem and I don't think it's going to cause uh, me any issues so I expect to get uh, several hundred miles more uh, out of these shoes. And if you're not like me uh, and you don't wear your shoes unevenly I think well from reviews, people have said they've had a thousand miles out of these shoes, and I, I can quite believe 
and that's the case because this rubber certainly seems to be um, very tough and grips as well as as you need and again you don't need super grip when you're running slower miles um, even in even in wetter conditions it's it's acceptable uh, maybe not as good as some in the wet um, but you can't have any, everything can you so things I dislike about this shoe well it's heavy uh, it feels heavy there's nothing you can do about that but then it, it isn't designed to be a fast shoe it's designed to be a comfortable one that you can put lots of miles into so we can kind of forgive that I wouldn't have minded it being slightly lighter though and other things uh, looks now this colour was the one that was on offer I don't really think it's that great to look at white with like a pale blue um, but it's okay I think some of the other colours are better um, but it, it wouldn't be a shoe that I go into a shop and look at it and think oh I like that shoe now price price is definitely a dislike now I never pay full price for shoes I always find offers on them uh, because I simply can't afford to pay the full price for the shoe and I'm sure many people are in that position now these retail at £140 now I suppose if you're thinking of getting a thousand miles in um, perhaps sort of bang for buck it's not too bad um, I paid £70 for these which is at the sort of top end of what I like to pay for shoes but effectively that's half price £70 I'm, I'm happy with uh, with that would have preferred even less but well who wouldn't so overall what, what do I think of this shoe well again I really like it I'm really happy with it I'm expecting to put a lot more miles in it uh, if I was to, to give this a rating out of five well based on what I paid for it 70 pounds I would give it a rating of, of four out of five I think for what it is uh, a shoe that's designed for long runs and recovery runs easy miles uh, there's few things that can beat it um, I don't like having a shoe with too high a heel drop um, I find I get injured less and uh, now I've switched to, to lower drops so a lot of the offerings from uh, Nike and Adidas uh, simply don't suit me um, so things like the, the Pegasus and the Vimeros which I've run in in the past uh, they do have great durability um, but they don't come with a 4 mil heel drop so if you're after a shoe with a low drop uh, but a nice bit of cushioning for those longer miles well I'd say this is this is a perfect choice at £140 though I think I'd probably only give it 3 out of 5 so certainly give this a, a try. This was the, the first uh, shoe that I had from Saucony, um, and I've been well. I'm so impressed that that I bought uh, the the Type A8 um, as a racer. I'll be reviewing those shortly. Um, so yeah, great shoe. It's what you're after. I'd say definitely go for it. Well, I hope this review has been helpful. Uh, if you liked it. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if uh, you want to give any feedback, again, that's great. I'm just starting up. Uh, I haven't got a great deal of uh, equipment, uh, so I'm doing this on the cheap as I do with, with running. But hopefully, uh, if uh, there's things you're looking for and you don't want to spend a lot of money, well, some of the things I'll be reviewing, hopefully, uh, that'll suit you too.